A couple days ago, I treated you all like my therapist, where I confided in you that I wasn't feeling overly tough anymore. When I posted that video watching Tough Guys, I told you about my insecurities. I wasn't feeling like a manly, man's man, like lumberjack, butt fucking pussy slaying tough guy. And today, it just really hit me even harder. That box behind me right there is a bidet attachment for my toilet. No tough guys cleaning their ass, let alone pressure washing it. So I needed to watch another tough guy today to get inspired and remember what it's like to be extremely masculine. And I found a great patient zero for this. This is one of the toughest men I've ever seen in a Walmart. Fucking go too far and start something, right? Right? You want to see my back kick right now? Call the cops. This guy forgot he's not in college anymore, so his frat can't back him up. So to me, he seems a little bit skittish, but kind of like a scared animal, trying his best not to look weak but in doing so looks extremely weak. I will say though, I love his threats. Do you want to see my back kick? Sounds like something Spongebob would say after taking one lesson of karate. I feel like this dude's stuck in some kind of time vortex where he thinks he's 10 years younger than he actually is in reality, but he definitely strikes me as a fighter, a fucking warrior. I guarantee every time he goes into the bathroom to take his shit, he shadow boxes in the mirror just to practice his combat techniques. He probably just envisions all of these incredible fights in his head where he's the anime protagonist, the hero. So he's working on like these weird techniques like fucking charging up his punches like Donkey Kong. And then of course his signature back kick. Let's go! Call cops? Yep, yeah, call cops right now. That, that, that's what I'm tired of. You guys think, you, you guys, you like black people. Oh, you guys think you guys are fucking so strong. You guys, yeah. You guys think you're so fucking strong and everything. Congratulations, you just set a new any percent record for the racism speed run. It only took him like two sentences to reveal that he's a racist, so that was pretty impressive. Look at this technique though, I mean look at that stance, what is that, is that crouching tiger hidden douchebag? I take back what I said, he doesn't look weak. If I was to choose one word to describe this man, it would be diesel. He's looking strong and fierce. He's taken two rumble boxing aerobics courses at his local gym, and he's feeling like a champion. Alright, come on, make a move, dude, come on, come on. Come on. Time to go, sir. What? Excuse what? me. What? Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Hey, sir. You got out of here. Time to go. You've been drinking. You need to go. Police. His speed is inhuman. If you blinked, you would have missed over a thousand blows. I think the human eye can only register, like, half of the moves he actually did there. But I slowed down the footage in order to see every move. When he did this, into this, there was actually over 15 individual punches thrown. It was like out of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And admittedly, that kick was a lot higher than I thought it would ever be coming from a guy that looks like this. I'm sure it came at a high price. That's definitely the highest he's kicked since he was a kid. And he's definitely paying the price. I'm sure he pulled a muscle there and he won't be able to walk in the morning. But god damn it, did he look strong doing it. It was worth it in the end. After seeing this, I have no doubt that this man is an absolute weapon. I guarantee his Bible study peers are afraid of him, just in case they get on his bad side. Because he might unleash an unholy beatdown, an absolutely clobber ass. These techniques are forbidden jutsu, and he's mastered each and every one of them. Uh, uh, Walmart, yeah. Pokemon Snap just came out. I was <laughs> trying to Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that's what we're here for too. Yeah, just in case you were curious what started all of this, apparently that guy was just being an asshole over a copy of Pokemon Snap and then decided to start threatening back kicks and shit like that. Crazy. Yeah, but huge thanks to the Walmart staff for intervening there. If left unchecked, that man's power could have gone out of control and just been devastating, like an apocalypse level event. That's probably the Armageddon that was written about in the Bible, is just when that guy's temper flares up. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't an asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. It was this guy just getting angry about Pokemon Snap not being available. So, I mean, Jesus Christ. It, it was a close call, but Walmart staff really saved the day there. And now that guy's going to go home, butt chug his Budweiser, and just think about how strong he was. Because this guy was a real fucking tough guy. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.